What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with Mark Jennison, the original comeback, the creator of this movement, the man that's going to help you change your life. Listen, today's topic. What I want to do first off for you guys is just kind of talk about the pit, about the, the cycle, you know? Uh, this year is strictly going to be about alcohol. So if you're not starting with alcohol, you watch this for business, you listen to this for relationship advice, you listen to this for motivation, you listen to this and tell me to fuck off. Whatever it is, this one here is going to be just about alcohol. So, listen, understanding the cycle of what we do is probably the first step in the process. I'm going to tell you how it's going to be a good thing today, right? So, first of all, you've got to understand what the cycle is. The cycle goes like this. We drink, use drugs, have sex, gamble, lie, whatever, for some sort of emotion. Okay? There's something we feel. It doesn't always have to be negative. It could be a could be a, a weather condition. could be positive. could be a feeling. could be... Happiness could be sadness, could be a song that comes on. It causes something internally which creates emotion. Once you feel that emotion, it automatically triggers inside of your mind a, like a remembrance, a good thing. For instance, for me, it'll be like I'll hear a song, my sublime comes on, and the sun is sunny out. And actually, you know, boom, I associate that media with relaxation, sedation, and being able to go out and start drinking and start fucking up my life every day. But the minute that you have that emotion, it automatically go into those fantasizing thoughts, the next thing you know, your subconscious mind will take over. And this is where things start running rapid. I need a drink. 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 It's what's working against you, against you 24 seven, right? Your subconscious is actually truly going against everything that you're trying to do in your life. The minute that happens, you find yourself putting yourself in a high risk behavior, swinging into a bar, calling up a buddy, texting some girl you shouldn't be texting, doing anything that you can do put yourself in a situation where you know you, you don't realize you're doing it you may remember something man how do i go down the road and i'm going to work or i'm, I'm coming home from work and the next thing you know bam bam i'm in a i'm in a uh alcohol store i'm in a convenience store and i'm walking in i'm buying a bottle and then the next thing you know you put yourself in a decision and at that point you've lost power you've lost power to this piece and then you want to blame it on the alcohol but the truth is if you look at it it's in your mind see very, very quickly at that choice, I would say 90% of the time in my journey, I would know what's going on. I was present. The subconscious was so strong, I couldn't face it. Once I then took that drink, I was like, fuck. I did it again. I'm a loser. I'll always be an alcoholic. I'm a junkie. I might as well fucking call this job. I might as well just get hammered, right? So anger for me would immediately set in. Something else sets in for you. But you're taking that decision. You, 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 you fucked up at that point. You drank. Shame, guilt, anger, pain, hurt, something sets in, um, and then next thing you know, you're telling yourself, whether it's the next morning, six hours, six days, six weeks, six years go by when you feel this emotion again. You know, I'm never going to do it. I'm never going to do it with the short-term sobriety, and then all of a sudden that emotion comes back, and you've never actually dealt with it. Now, the cool thing about this, about understanding this trap door into the pit, it's in those first three stages where we gain control. I am not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not even the smartest guy around. I stutter when I talk and I don't give a fuck. But here's the deal. I've been able to do the work and condition my mind. The same mindset that makes me get up every day and go create, dominate, push, excel, help, win, be a father. That I've been able to force to be positive because I was a negative, angry motherfucker. That same mindset, that same strength that I did to actually sabotage it when I took it into understanding what was going on and actually sit with the emotions what things got real so here's the tip for the day okay this is what you need to do today when you come up with one of these triggers one of these emotions or something you're feeling right we'll call that we'll just call it the emotion trigger for today when you feel this emotion you need to sit with it for a second be be respectful understand like hey cool i do want to drink i get it it's part of it instead of being afraid and feeling like you're going to fuck up and going from you know the the first part of the cycle all the way to the high risk behavior or I'm not good enough or to the shame and embarrassment. Don't do that. This is the process you have to do. You have to understand what the problem is before you can fix the problem. I want you to understand that this trap door into success or this trap door into failure is won or lost in those first three stages. So what I want you to do today is this. When you feel that emotion, look for the emotion, actually. When you're looking for the emotion, whether it is sunset, whether it's anger, whether it's something that's been triggering you because by chance, I'd imagine it's not. You're watching this because you're going through the struggle right now. Sit down, feel the trigger, ask myself why. The minute it kicks into whether it is a good or positive feeling, right, when the fantasizing thoughts start coming, 
and you start thinking about the, the good times, I want you to immediately force it to the outcome of what happens. We don't remember the bad shit. We don't remember getting arrested. We don't remember starting a fight. We don't remember any of that stuff because it is powerful. I'm not saying that you're powerless. And I'm not even saying that the alcohol or that thought press or your brain that you built is not powerful. But you, the same way you condition to do that, can uncondition it to start thinking the other way. So step one, I want you to go ahead, sit with it, be self-aware, be thankful for the fact that you caught it, understand like, okay, here is what's going on. This is what I felt like before. This is what he did. If it is a negative thought that gets there, I want you to employ the 54321 rule by Mel Robbins. If you haven't read that book, go read that book. And once I want you to do that, you say, okay, oh, I'm negative. I feel crappy. I need a beer. Then switch it to something positive, something that you can remember. Before you lose to the subconscious mind, okay, and even if it goes there and it starts going, man, I need it tough, and I start fighting it, fighting it, fighting it, fighting it, fighting it, this is a practical approach that I want you to do. It worked for me every day. It still works, even when I battle anger. I want you to actually go ahead and write down your goals. Write down something. Get out the journal. Write down the way you're feeling. For me, I always revert back to the future that I'm going. That's another lesson we'll talk about for another day. But today, the step is this. Be very, very conscious and self-aware of the emotions and triggers you feel today, tomorrow, every single day, right? That's step one. Step two is find out why. Ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? And then once you understand why you're feeling this way, remember the last time. Remember the bad. And if it's already a bad negative, invi- in, um, negative emotion that you're drinking for, switch it to something good. Employ the 54321 method. Get out the journal. Get out the notebook. Or write down. I don't care if you have to do this hundreds of times a day. Do it until it becomes your strength. Reps, reps, reps. That's it for today's episode of the Comeback Podcast. I hope you have an amazing day. Get out. Crush it. Stay the course.